you'll want to make sure that you are selecting in the software what hoop you're planning on using. Um, if you tell the software that you are using a hoop that is bigger than the one that you're actually using, you have the risk of actually striking a hoop. Conversely, if you tell the, uh, the software that you are running with a hoop that is smaller than you actually put on the machine, um, you don't get the benefit of the full sew field. So in the software, you'll want to go to this dropdown and select which hoop you're actually using. So right now I have a 15 centimeter selected. I'm going to be using the 12 centimeter, so I'm going to come down and select that. If you would prefer to see your hoops in a different measurement unit, you can always go to Tools, Options, and Measurement Units. And on the bottom, you can swap from centimeters to inches, hit Apply and OK, and now my hoop shows up in inches. Also, if this list doesn't fit your needs, if you would prefer to have only the hoops that you own, you can change that by going to Tools and Hoop Setup and customize hoop list and put a check mark only by the ones that you own. Okay, apply and okay. But the biggest thing to take away from this is make sure that you select the hoop that you're planning on using. If you select one that is too small, you'll notice that the hoop limit goes bold and solid. That's an indicator that, yeah, this is not going to work well for you. So what you really want to find is one that fits as closely as possible to that dotted line while it stays dotted and usable and is also one that you own.